Just on the international lens, you know, I am Nigerian. I was born there. And what is going on in Nigeria also with oh the NSARS movement and now that has been transitioned to the NSWAP movement needs to be amplified because so many people in Nigeria were a part of the Black Lives Matter movement. When George Floyd died, I had cousins in Abuja, um, you know, in, in Anambra State who were protesting for what That's happened right. here in the States. And now they're going through an issue where their own government is unlawfully killing people, abducting people, murdering people, especially Nigerian youth. So they need our our voices too. So right. I just want to make sure I'm amplifying that cause as well because what's happening in Nigeria where people are peacefully protesting and they're being met by police bullets needs to be a public health issue. It needs to sound the alarm for everybody because if this can happen in Nigeria, it can happen anywhere. Absolutely. And I want to say, uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with Nigeria as they're experiencing all of this madness right now. We actually just posted an article on our yes. website where you can get more information, educate yourself and find out how you can support the country. Um, I, I think there was something really powerful that you just said, too, about the fact that, you know, it was also Nigerians and also so many other Africans that were showing up for the Black Lives Matter community and mm -hmm. protests and things that were going on. One of the biggest things that we see sometimes on social media, um, ignorantly, um, is people feeling like, well, this fight isn't really for you if you're not black and born here. You know, if you're if you're African descent, if you're Caribbean of the you know, Caribbean descent, if you are mixed, you know, this isn't for you. You don't you you're not that important in this. All black lives don't matter because it's black lives. What are your thoughts on that? I think that's highly problematic because, you know, when someone, when a police officer pulls you over, they don't ask what ethnicity are you? They don't ask, you know, what country of origin are you? They see my black skin. When they see my husband, they don't know he's Nigerian. They see his black skin. So we're all in this fight together, whether you are from the continent of Africa, whether you're from the Caribbean or whether you were born here in the United States, we are all fighting a fight together. We need to come together because this is not about dividing and conquer. We've seen that that happened before in the past and we see how that has resulted we are all in this together and I would like to say to them how about Abdul Louima he was an African mm. Im immigrant that was police brutality nobody said to him oh no we're not gonna hurt you because you are from Africa how about Amadou Diallo he was an African immigrant nobody said oh we're not gonna hurt you because you know you are from Africa no this is a black fight. This is about black and brown people being systematically hurt by a system that was built to hurt us. So in order for us to conquer that system, all black people have to come together to fight it. That's the only way it's gonna work.